Honda. dreaded check engine light. I have a feeling I know what's going on here. It's uh, an infrequent uh, little pestering type thing that pops up every now and then. It has to do with my transmission. But this uh, car has, I don't know if you can see it, the lights out there. There it is. 226,000 miles on it. For the most part, it shifts okay like it's supposed to, but every time it shifts into the overdrive gear it seems to trip this check engine light and only happens every few months um, probably every 5,000 miles or so so I'll do a quick little video on how to use an OBD2 scanner and these can be picked up at your local uh, car shop uh, you can even get them at your local big box store at uh, Wally World's or targets this one I got online a couple of years ago, it's an Actron. So you basically got your reader itself, you got your cable, and you got your OBD2 connector right here. Most of them from I think uh, early 90s and up all the way to current vehicles look just like this. The connector is almost always under the dash on the driver's side could be on the left, could be on the right. In this case, it is on the right hand side. Give you an idea of where it's at. There's the shifting gear. There's the gas pedal. There's the OD, OBD2 connector. And to connect it up, you mate the male with the female like so. It only goes in one way. Kind of like with everything else. Connect it. This one runs off the power of the car. And in most cases, you've got to turn off the car before you get started. <clears throat> so, right now, I want to read what code my uh, um, car computer is, or uh, yeah, car computer is throwing and I want to find out the reason I'm getting a check engine light so I'm going to hit enter and most of these uh, scanners work about the same the menus will be a little bit different so I've got vehicle diagnostics enter I'm global OBD2 it's kind of a universal thing I want to keep that erase all data sure we'll start from scratch turn key off for 10 seconds then turn key on and press enter I'm going to start the car again okay it's been roughly 10 seconds I'm going to read codes Incidentally, this was about 100, 150 bucks. I've got my money's worth out of it. Every time you have a check engine light, it costs you a minimum of forty dollars at any car, most dealerships, um, just to check these codes and clear them. Especially if you want to clear the code, it's going to cost you that that forty dollars. This will clear the code for free. Tests are complete. Got one code. And it's a P0740TCC circuit malfunction, just as I suspected. That is referring to my transmission. And what's happening is there's a slight delay, mechanical delay, in shifting into overdrive. I don't notice it and I don't feel it when I'm driving, but it's happening. So since this code's only been thrown every few months, every 5,000 miles, I'm not going to make a big deal of it. I don't feel like fixing my transmission. It's not worth it. I don't feel like replacing it right now, not until I have major problems. So I'm going to go to erase codes. I'm going to press enter, and this is what happens. 
Press enter and yes to confirm. There we go. Command sent. It's easy as that. And that's how you erase your check engine codes. And that's how you check data that's uh, being sent from the uh, from the car's computer telling you um, exactly what's going on with your engine. But when you get a check engine light, it's well worth investing in one of these OBD2 scanners. You will not be disappointed, I guarantee it. All right, another Big Dave DIY on using an OBD2 scanner. Do yourself a favor, go out and buy one of these. Save yourself some monies. We'll see you next time.